Conductivity. Yeah. Mm, yum. <laughs> Ouch! You okay, Smurf? Using a fork to pull toast out of the toaster is super dangerous. Do you know why you got shocked? The fork is made of metal, which conducts electricity. You got it. Just like our electro dough. This means that electricity can move through the fork and into you. Things plugged into an outlet, like your toaster, have way more electricity than the circuits we've been making, and too much electricity is really dangerous. <gasps> to get things out of the toaster, you could use something that doesn't conduct electricity, like wooden chopsticks. Want to try an experiment to see which materials conduct electricity and which don't? <laughs> All right, here's our conductivity tester machine. <laughs> Basically, that's a fancy way of saying it's just a normal circuit with a gap in it. Let's fill the gap with some different objects to find out which is conductive. Want to try out a fork? Mm. All right then, Smorf. Let's try a metal spoon. The light turned on. Just like your fork, this spoon conducts electricity. When something conducts electricity, we call it a conductor. Can you think of something else that's a conductor? Mm. A pencil? Sure, let's try it out. Uh -uh. It's not lighting up, so that means it doesn't conduct electricity very well. <laughs> no worries, the whole point of an experiment is to try out a bunch of stuff and see what works and what doesn't. Daddy. When something doesn't conduct electricity, it's too difficult for the electricity to pass through. We call it an insulator. Things like wood, like the pencil, or plastic are insulators. <gasps> Conductors are usually made of metal. Water is also a conductor. That's why it's important to never mix water with electricity. Mm. Ha! Can you think of another insulator? <laughs> nice! So let's try some card next. <laughs> You're right. Card doesn't have any metal in it, so it doesn't conduct electricity. Now let's try for one more conductor. That is easy. Scissors. Let's try it. Nice! These scissors do conduct electricity, even though there's plastic in them. That's because electricity is only moving through the metal parts. If we connected the circuit to the plastic part, it wouldn't work. Those were pretty cool experiments. Want to use what we've learned to make a fun character? Yay! Wouldn't it be awesome to give our creature a light-up head? Yay! We can use some electro dough since it's a conductor. Then let's connect a light and our battery pack and make him shine. Good spot. Yep, there's a short circuit. Because electricity is super lazy, it's ignoring the light and only going through the dough. We need to make sure that the electricity goes through the light before it gets back to the battery pack. If we block the dough with an insulator, then the electricity will have to go through the light. What should we use, Morph? Hmm... You're right. Cards should do the trick. Let's try it out. Let's split our dough into two parts with the card and reconnect our circuit. Awesome! It's working! The electricity can't go through the card because it's an insulator, so it goes through the light and makes it shine. Now let's give our creature some personality. Pop on some eyes, a couple of legs, cute little arms. <laughs> Looking good. Wait, some more if we need a name. Mm. <gasps> All right. Nice to meet you, Edmund. <laughs> now, Smorf, do you remember what's safe to use to get toast out of the toaster? <laughs> right on. Insulators, like wood. Actually, Smorf, 
Just to be extra safe, maybe unplug the toaster first. Yay! You did it. Enjoy your toast, Morph. Bon appetit. <laughs> what we learned today was really fun. I can't wait to share more with you next time. See you soon.